Hi students, good day. Today we are discussing about uh, exam tips for uh, strategic business reporting SBR paper uh, which is relating to December 2022 and uh, onwards. So this uh, exam tips are prepared uh, according to our uh, best uh, assumption and uh, we feel uh, which uh, part uh, may come in this uh, or may be tested in this uh, sitting. So it's best uh, idea to practice the whole uh, topics, but uh, you uh, have to uh, give uh, special attention to this area uh, to score well marks, good marks in your uh, exam. So this is a strategic exam tips for uh, strategic reporting. So first of all, this is uh, we are expecting this time uh, may come a consolidated cash flow statement, which is very good if it arrive. So it, because this is a very favorite topic of the student and they score very uh, quick marks and uh, in the short term uh, span of time. So if you aware well aware about the format and about the steps how to uh, mention the basic things you score very good marks then fill the amounts from the financial statements and uh, th th these are that there are that various techniques are there so how you can score very good marks so one is the uh, exam tips and the other is uh, how to uh, exam techniques are there exam techniques are always uh, uh, evergreen so you can uh, there is no need to uh, wait for the exam techniques every if you have to remember you have to practice all the exam techniques to score very good marks in any situation so whatever topic a question comes so if you are good in exam techniques and if you if you need a, f a professional way of uh, uh, understanding on this area i am giving a, a five sessions uh, training for uh, uh, passing techniques how to crack the paper how to read the questions and all this area if you are interested you can comment it in this video and uh, I can get back to you and uh, I can give you more uh, insight uh, or more understanding on this topic so so this is the time is a short so you can uh, contact me quickly so number two the consolidated income statement is also expected to be uh, you can see uh, in this area it can be tested so topic number three is IS 19 there is this is also one of the favorite topics of the uh, examiner so they keep testing on IS 37 is also one of the evergreen topics so they keep testing in this area IFRS 8 is also testing because wherever or whatever IFRS have a, a, updates or changes so then they keep testing and they see uh, they want to see whether student have a give good command and good grip on uh, on this uh, area IFRS 10, IFRS 16 and 15, this is also can be tested in this exam. So, so you have to uh, give a more uh, importance and uh, make more Revian uh, exam questions and uh, then uh, see your answers should match with the answer plan and, and then see the marking theme also. So this is uh, your duty will not finish to just to write the answer and just uh, uh, be comfortable. Then you have to see the marking scheme also where you are lacking, where you are uh, giving more emphasis. So you have to be very careful. So if the answer the part is at three marks and you are putting uh, maybe 10 minutes on uh, writing of this area. So that is uh, also not uh, required. So you have to understand this, all these things. So number nine, IFRS 13 and IS 38 and the financial instruments. So a financial instrument as uh, is uh, always uh, keep tested in uh, four, five marks and six marks, some area they have asked for a written part also. And same way the IS 38, they are keep testing. So these are the, uh, the short uh, examiner tips for, uh, for SPR exam. So now I am uh, just uh, showing you a ACCA SBR notes also. So if you, uh, just to just to give you uh, show you a brief uh, understanding and brief uh, uh, write up on these notes which I have available in a PDF form. If anyone interested in these notes, so will, please uh, comment and uh, your email in this uh, email, uh, in, in this video. 
and uh, obviously like share and comment uh, my this video my channel so for future comings and even uh, inshallah when you get through pass this exam so you can contact me for uh, next exam or next paper uh, study material i can provide you free of charge the text study text revision kit and uh, and the notes also so keep in touch and uh, study hard and uh, wish you all the best so in next part i'm showing you about the study notes for the sbr thank you for this area hi students so these are the strategic business uh, reporting international study notes uh, which i am showing you this uh, these are available with me this is around 300 pages uh, pdf uh, version of, of uh, the study notes which is these are the short study notes if anyone need uh, this uh, study notes please contact me uh, or message me uh, in the in the same video and then comment on and like and share my uh, this uh, youtube channel uh, for uh, future videos and uh, within uh, within uh, 24 hours or as soon as possible within within maximum a day i will uh, send you uh, through email attachment so so you can uh, go through this all uh, study materials study notes and even if you need uh, uh, study books and uh, revision kit as well so whatever edition is available i will uh, definitely provide you so these are the uh, just uh, over uh, overview on uh, about this uh, study material so you can have a look so these are the table of contents this is uh, this uh, explaining all areas ies 1 16 38 and then uh, page wise actually they, they took this uh, uh, material are uh, the topics uh, according to bpp or cap plan books and uh, they just mention it in precise way in the easy to understand in easy to understand the the format how to answer in your examination how you can score good marks and how you can uh, write up and uh, uh, to the point uh, topics so this is all areas they have uh, explained over here even each and every standard they have uh, mentioned so you just uh, to give you a flavor or understanding about these notes so just to show you some of the topics and uh, then you can uh, understand how the quality of this one so this is uh, the framework they are discussing financial reporting frameworks so this framework is uh, all about the precise way how to uh, how they have uh, mentioned all these areas so the advantage of conceptual framework and this uh, always uh, the examiner keep testing this area so so you are aware about uh, you have seen the past papers so it is in each and every attempt they have tested uh, uh, for a certain amount of marks so this is a chapter one overview chapter two and they just are discussing about the financial qualitative characteristics relevance and the further representation and what are the requirement comparability verifiability timeliness understandability these are very short and uh, uh, precise uh, definition and explanation on the topic so it is always good to have a look before ex uh, uh, when you are closer to your exam so definitely you cannot go through the whole lengthy chapters of kaplan or bpp so these notes will helpful for you to understand even if you remember there are pass cards concept is also there so so this is also similar to that uh, pass cards so for acca pass card so it will helpful for you to uh, to, to just remember and revise your uh, previous learning on the topic chapter 3 financial statement reporting entity so this is see how the precisely they have a mention chapter 4 and then this uh, this is a very important uh, how the assets uh, definition uh, uh, a little bit changes and how they have uh, add on uh, some areas and uh, for the better uh, uh, definition of liability or obligation so how it was before and how it is uh, uh, now in the recent way 
how it is explained in all these areas so it is uh, these are good notes to have it and uh, you can uh, just uh, uh, send me uh, your email in the comments of this email uh, in the video so definitely i will uh, send you these notes so there are very uh, interesting topic on the each and every uh, chapter so i will just like to to show you So look at this area. So this is uh, the how the preparation of financial statement for companies IS, under IS one presentation of financial statement. How you how you have to uh, make a presentation in in examination. Uh, all this uh, statement analysis is showing a complete uh, template. You can say uh, of the financial statement position. How it is showing and how the marks will uh, how you will. Uh, gain uh, maximum marks so so you have to uh, memorize and uh, familiarize yourself about this uh, uh, the format so, so format is also very important and they keep testing you uh, how you have uh, shown so just to not uh, uh, write, write the figure you have to uh, mark the currency a cur currency mark also if it is in dollar or whatever currency always remember so they have to you have to write the, the, uh, the period ended period financial pos position of the company assets so the format as you know this is a very basic thing but uh, a student overlook this area and lose uh, their precious marks so the assets equity and liabilities so non current assets what stage it will come so current liabilities where it is coming so how it is uh, you are showing so there is a statement of changes in equity how this uh, figure is how this is actually a, this is a template so which if you if you memorize this template so it is easy for you to score good marks so you have to understand the same like uh, your taxation paper so you have to memorize this uh, format as well to score your uh, good marks the same is a statement of profit and loss statement how the revenue gross sales gross profit and how this is income tax expenses how profit after tax these figures are coming so how this other comprehensive income is coming so this is your sbr this is your professional level paper because you are going to be auditor after qualifying this paper so you have to be very uh, much uh, aware about this uh, area so comprehensive income uh, other comprehensive where you have to mention and if you place a wrong uh, if you mention at the wrong place you will not get a good marks so that's the same way is property plant and equipment how what is the definition how it is uh, this is a uh, recognition criteria is also mentioned in this notes recognition criteria how the element of cost how this is all uh, areas are important each and everything so you have to uh, contact me or message me in this video i will definitely share this sbr notes and even if you need a study text or a book also for your next sitting if you are applying for a march exam so then you can also take this one i yes this is one of the favorite topic for is 38 intangible assets how this is a intangible assets is defined how this is a it is explained over there so level of control recognition and measurement so definitely it will helpful for you and this is a material even i am giving you free of charge but it has a value it has a, it's not a, a free material so i am i buy this one from uk and i am giving it to you to my students and to my uh, the fellows who are following me on my youtube so there are various all topics so very well and very precise way it is explained so how it is uh, uh, all everything how you are going to treat all this area see this is a measurement measuring the recoverable amount how your recoverable amount is measured so this is higher of value in use or value in sale so this is a way how you measure the uh my the recoverable amount so these are the other reasons or circumstances which if some area they attest you in the exam you have to mention all these uh, uh, five points so what are the reasons six points uh, the, the, then these these points when you uh, mention so your marks will tuck 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 and then you are uh, just get a uh, marks like uh, mathematics so 
you have to uh, give a little heading or you have to understand you have to memorize this uh, uh, topic by topic or the point by point so just to score very good marks so measurement of value of in use so this is uh, the method for uh, uh, measurement of in the value how the discount rate applied so recoverable value minus carrying value is equal to impairment expenses so this is all uh, are very interesting and very uh, very much helpful topic for you now see the chapter 2 is2 uh, inventories so how this is uh, objectives so what are the definitions of inventories how held for sale in ordinary course of business and the all the uh, the, the assets uh, definitions you have to memorize anyhow you know aware about all these uh, points but it is a recap on the page 42 for uh, uh, valuation of inventories is mentioned there after that uh, this is is 41 agriculture is discussing so what is agriculture properties or assets so you have to understand their scope it is also important topics they keep testing student so anyhow this is according to acca this is not we cannot say which this topic is hot this is but this is ACA, acca rules they have to test the whole topic in three years span of time so you have to uh, you can uh, make a guessing yourself so if something is not testing tested for a long time so you can uh, have a guess it might be tested agriculture assets so this is keep uh, coming the government grants is also one of the uh, topic relating to is 41 under properties also under uh, agriculture grants as also is coming so is 23 borrowing cost is uh, one of the favorite topic so how the borrowing cost is uh, considered how to how the borrowing cost will be capitalized borrowing cost is include uh, the interest on bank overdraft and short term borrowing so this topic is already uh, you aware if you need the coaching uh, you can uh, contact me now this is is 37 the provisions contingent liabilities and contingent assets this is also one of the important topic so definitions of you uh, you have to see the definitions very precise and uh, uh, very uh, tooth specific so you can uh, uh, memorize very quickly the constructive obligation is an obligation that drives from an enterprise action where the what how what are the uh, what are the reasons of constructive obligation so then uh, uh, constructive obligation means the company is willing to have a uh, to take action in a, a specific period of time or in in past they have uh, what policies or what uh, method they have done so the amount uh, uh, of the value of the contracts so what are the restructuring what are the recognition criteria so this recognition criteria will also be uh, required to be uh, defined so how you will uh, going to recognize provision shall be recognized when uh, entry has an uh, present obligation so the then past event the measurement how do uh, measurement how you uh, specifically uh, mention this area so this is a very uh, precise and uh, very uh, important points are discussed over here the next topic is ifrs 16 leases so how this uh, objectives are uh, explained over here uh, what are the scope of this uh, is ifrs 16 leases applies for the assets or for the uh, on which equipment is this lease can be uh, obtained so key definition is there for the leases lease terms how the lease term is defined so this area so very important so very specific you have to memorize uh, this one this is these are the short notes so it will be helpful for you to gain a higher marks so you if you even if you if you didn't uh, uh, go on through the full uh, chapter on your uh, study text so this is the right place to uh, to revise it uh, or, uh, quick in quick manner so you can uh, memorize uh, uh, their uh, requirements or the standard requirement how you are going to mention in the examination this is now ifrs 15 revenue from con uh, contracts with the customers 
so what are the construction contracts are the are the what are the if you have uh, other than construction contracts if you have uh, other different contracts with the customer how you will recognize the revenue in your books of accounts so there are five step model for the framework so this if uh, something uh, transaction uh, falls under uh, this criteria so you have to recognize it accordingly the step one identify the contract with the customer so there is a contract uh, nature of contract you have to identify step two you have to follow this all these steps they have uh, precisely uh, mentioned so these are the important areas next is the fair value measurement how the fair value is measured the need for fair value uh, guidance and uh, and ifrs 13 so they just uh, discussing about this area so this is the important part so whenever uh, the valuation uh, devaluation is our appreciation or uh, hype is coming so this is the fair value model is applied so when your asset is uh, at the fair value if it is a decline so it should be mentioned if it is appreciated it will be uh, mentioned in your financial statement fair value definition so this is also a professional level paper is a favorite topic of the examiner so they keep testing so how to make a treatment in accounts how to make a adjusting entries what are the valuation techniques market approach income approach get a cost approach so these are the models you have to practice you have to uh, see the case studies how they have uh, sought out how they have uh, uh, resolve these issues how the auditor uh, implies benefit is 19 see in three pages four pages they have defined the whole chapter and then uh, they just give you uh, understanding on this topic so what is the scope of this implies uh, benefits so short term implies benefit post employment to benefits other long term so just these are the employees benefit it's just to give you a short a brief uh, intro it's just they just oh, companies want to keep their employees and uh, retain their employees for a longer period of time so that's due to this reason whatever benefits they give a yearly basis uh, so they have to accumulate or they have to uh, mention in their books of accounts so how they just uh, are giving, giving the benefits to the employees retirement benefits private health care or the cash bonuses they are giving so definitions are there so it's uh, just a quick review you have uh, the to understand this uh, this is also one of the favorite topic of uh, your uh, sbr topic so sbr don't think this is a easy thing like a financial reporting so it need it uh, need your attention and it you need your professional uh, way of uh, pres uh, answering or techniques should be followed so then only you will get a chance to pass anyhow 50 percent is a passing rate of this paper so there are the techniques if you apply it right technique you will get through you will pass it same like sbl and sbr easy to pass these are the it tech with techniques so you have to understand what examiner is asking and what you are answering it should be it should match you your answer should match what is required so whatever read the requirement carefully at least three time four time read the requirements read the scenario match your answer with the scenario so if it is a, if you didn't link with the scenario you will lose your precious marks so these are the important uh, area see 97 pages only i have uh, on, over uh, gone through and uh, it is it, it there are uh, more than 300 pages share based payments so the, although uh, I just uh, i'm recommending you to have uh, uh, just, just spend a few hours on this notes and uh, definitely it will uh, help you to revise or uh, remind your uh, recall your uh, previous learning so you can uh, you will find every topic in this uh, uh, in this uh, note study notes of sbr so definitely you will appreciate this uh, uh, study and uh, have a look on this notes thank you very much have a good day